Lord Snow is the third episode of the first season of the critically acclaimed television series Game of Thrones, based on George R. R. Martin's fantasy novel A Song of Ice and Fire. In this episode, originally aired on May 1, 2011, viewers are taken deeper into the intricate world of Westeros and Essos. The episode centers around pivotal character developments, political intrigue, and displays of power in the quest for the Iron Throne. This summary contains approximately 3,000 words, recounting the events of Lord Snow. The episode begins at the Wall, a colossal ice structure protecting the Seven Kingdoms from the dangers that lie beyond. Lord Eddard, Ned Stark's illegitimate son, Jon Snow, arrives at Castle Black to join the Night's Watch. As he bids farewell to his half-siblings, Jon faces disdain from Ser Alicer Thorne, the harsh master-at-arms, and befriends Samuel Tarly, a timid recruit. Meanwhile, Ned's youngest daughter, Arya, receives sword-fighting lessons from the swordmaster Serial Farrell, developing her skills in secret. In the capital, King's Landing, Queen Cersei Lannister and her brother, Ser Jaime, continue their illicit relationship, unconcerned about the consequences. Ned, now serving as the Hand of the King, tries to navigate the political intrigue within the court, with Cersei and her father, Tywin Lannister, exerting significant influence over the young and inexperienced King Joffrey Baratheon. Despite the court's intrigue, Ned remains steadfast in his efforts to unravel the mystery surrounding the death of the previous hand, John Arryn. Arya finds herself in trouble when she stumbles upon Queen Cersei's direwolf, Nymeria, attacking Joffrey during a walk. To protect her pet and not cause further conflict, Arya sends Nymeria away, but Cersei demands that Sansa's direwolf, Lady, be executed in Nymeria's stead. Lady is innocent, but Ned reluctantly carries out the sentence to maintain peace with the Lannisters across the narrow sea in the free city of Pentos, Daenerys Targaryen, the last surviving member of the Targaryen dynasty, continues her life with her husband, Khal Drogo, the powerful leader of the nomadic Dothraki. Daenerys struggles with the cultural differences and the harsh treatment she receives from her brother, Viserys, who desires to reclaim the Iron Throne through her marriage to Drogo. Back in King's Landing, Ned finds a bastard son of Robert Baratheon's, Gendry, who is apprenticed to a blacksmith. He realizes that Gendry is the spitting image of Robert, further confirming John Aaron's investigation and stoking Ned's suspicions about the true parentage of Cersei's children. Ned starts his own covert investigation, assisted by the cunning and witty Lord Varys, the master of Whisperers. At Castle Black, John faces challenges as he struggles to fit in with the other recruits. During a training session, John's frustration boils over, and he stands up to Ser Alicer Thorne. Despite John's defiance, the master at arms acknowledges John's leadership potential but warns him that he will make enemies if he continues to outshine his peers. Across the narrow sea, Daenerys begins to learn the Dothraki language and customs from her handmaiden, Doria. She starts to develop a bond with Drogo, learning that he was initially reluctant to marry her but has since grown fond of her. Daenerys becomes aware that she is pregnant with Drogo's child, a revelation that excites her and solidifies her place among the Dothraki. Back in King's Landing, Ned's youngest daughter, Sansa, seeks solace in the September of Baelor after her direwolf's unjust execution. She is comforted by Prince Joffrey, who manipulates her emotions to gain her trust. Littlefinger, Peter Baelish, observes the interaction and offers Sansa some advice, though it remains unclear what his true intentions are. As John continues his training at Castle Black, he befriends Samuel Tarly, a heavy-set and timid recruit who has faced constant abuse from the other members of the Night's Watch. John stands up for Sam and insists that he will not let anyone harm him. 
The two forge a strong bond, and John's compassion and leadership qualities become evident. Meanwhile, at the wall, Tyrion Lannister, the witty and intelligent younger brother of Jaime and Cersei, arrives to visit the Night's Watch. He stops at Winterfell along the way and gifts Bran Stark, the second youngest Stark son who was left paralyzed after a fall, a specially designed saddle that allows him to ride horses. Tyrion shows respect and kindness to the Stark children, winning Bran's affection and forming an unlikely friendship. During his visit to Castle Black, Tyrion is impressed by Jon Snow's leadership potential and advises him to never forget that he is a bastard, as it will help him remain humble and vigilant. Jon appreciates Tyrion's advice and insight. At the Lannister encampment in the Riverlands, Rob Stark, the eldest Stark son, and his bannermen are preparing for war against the Lannisters to free their father, Ned. Rob's direwolf, Grey Wind, attacks Jaime Lannister's men in retaliation for their mistreatment of a farmer's daughter. Rob and Jaime exchange heated words, foreshadowing the impending conflict between the Starks and the Lannisters. Back in King's Landing, Ned receives a book from Maester Eamon detailing the lineage of the Targaryens, which further strengthens his suspicion that Joffrey, Marcella, and Tommen are not Robert's legitimate heirs. With this information, Ned confronts Cersei in the God's Wood, warning her to leave the capital with her children before he reveals the truth to Robert. Ned shares his findings with Peter Baelish, who promises his assistance in gaining the loyalty of the City Watch, the Gold Cloaks, in the event of a confrontation. However, Ned soon realizes that he cannot trust Littlefinger completely and remains cautious. At Castle Black, John discovers that Samwell is not cut out for the harsh life of the Night's Watch and decides to take him under his wing, making him his personal steward. This decision earns John respect from Sam and admiration from his fellow recruits, further intensifying the rivalry between John and Ser Alistair Thorne, back in Essos, Viserys Targaryen, desperate to regain his birthright, demands that Khal Drogo provide him with the army he was promised. Viserys' arrogance and impatience annoy Drogo, who refuses to provide him with an army until the time is right. Viserys' actions become increasingly erratic, putting his life in danger. As the Night's Watch members venture beyond the wall for a ranging, John and his fellow recruits face the harsh realities of the wild and the terrifying creatures known as White Walkers. During their journey, they encounter a group of wildlings led by a mysterious figure who John and his companions kill in self-defense. Among the slain wildlings is a young girl, haunting John with the realization that even the enemies they face. 